Okay, uh, today is uh, 2016 August and we're going to have the non-farm payrolls today, all right? So uh, the ADP uh, data in the Wednesday looks like the jobs openings is, uh, is okay. So which means today the NFPs, uh, the, uh, <coughs> the value won't be very bad. Okay, so we are expanding our 180K as a forecast, okay, 180K as forecast. Previous is a 287K. Um, so we need to see that whether the actual amount is below or beyond 180K, okay. Uh, well, personally, I feel this news will be uh, good news for the dollar, okay, and bad news for the major currencies, right. And uh, let's look at the charts, all right? Firstly, we're going to check the dollar index. Okay, the dollar index has a uh, uh, gold uh, rally in the past from May, from May, okay? The lowest point is 91.92 and all the way goes to 97.57, all right? And right now, uh, recently, okay, it has a downward move, all right? But if you look at closely, we can see that the dollar index are testing this neckline, all right? This is uh, like a kind of a double bottoms neckline and the price just sit nicely at 95, this level, all right? So if we have this uh, 95 level being hold for the DXY, I'm thinking that the dollar index may goes up, okay, goes up again and to test this level. Okay, this level, which is 618%, uh, oh, sorry, the 618% is already touched. So we will touch the 618 level again, all right, and try to uh, test 97.23, okay? So this is what we have uh, for the DXY, okay? So we need to see the support, uh, whether this 95 can make a very good support. If yes, then the DX1 may still ready to test uh, the 618%, which is 97.23 again. And we can see that there is a structure Okay, there's a structure there, so uh, means that there's a resistance. Okay, so um, if if today the dollar index pullbacks to the 95, this level, uh, I'm going to be a buyer. Okay, and my stop loss will be just uh, below 95, maybe 94.85 something. Okay, this is uh, <coughs> for for the dollar index. Okay, we talk about the oil. Okay, the oil. Uh, Obviously, it's still a downtrend, okay? Although uh, for the last two days it has a rally, okay? But I think this rally is, uh, we can only consider this rally as a pullback, okay? For the, for the oil, because you can see the, let's see the direction of the, the downtrend move, okay? You can see it's accelerated the downward move, right? The downtrend initially is like this angle, but here it actually accelerates to, to the downside move. So what I'm thinking about the oil is, okay, uh, if you look at look at the daily, okay, here that the 39.39.60 has some structure, and we have a we have a, a base or we have a support there, okay. So if you want to buy the oil, please wait for the price to come back here again and to test this level. If cannot break through, you go to buy, okay. If not, you don't buy at this high, okay. Always remember buy low, okay, buy low, and. What I expect oil to go is to go to this level, 44.40, okay? This level will be a very good place to short oil again because this is a retest of this broken structure, which is not retest yet, okay? So when the first time it comes to this uh, broken structure and retest again, I think uh, it, we have a very good chance to short oil at this level, okay? So 44.40 will be the level I want to short and then the oil may have another kind of another uh, time of uh, the, the downward move, and the, we need to see that whether we can break this 39 level again. Okay, if can break, I think the, oil, the long term the oil I'm thinking to uh, go to the 35.80. Yeah, 35.80. That is uh, 0 0.618. Okay, and this level is my long term oil target. Okay. Um, Okay, why do I need to mute you? Because <laughs> your microphone is making noise. All right, so, okay. Okay, Jackie's here. Shane's here, all right. Good, where's Bernard? Where's Bernard? Guys, please uh, tell your 
your classmates to join, all right? To join. I will make uh, the live session only available to my students first, and then I will record it and uh, upload to the YouTube later on, all right? So this is for the oil, okay? We know that where is the support, where is uh, kind of the, the good chance to short oil at 44.40, 40, and hopefully we can get another time of, you know, this kind of uh, downward move to test 35.80. Okay, Pre previously we have shot at 51.50, uh, right? For this uh, ABCD move, okay? Okay, last time we shot at this level and we had a very nice round uh, profit of 1,000 pips, okay? Uh, all right, and uh, let's check about uh, the gold, okay? The gold daily chart looks looks like it's going to retest the previous high, this structure, okay, this structure. Okay, and already test for one, two, three days, okay? So tonight we need to see the non-farm payroll, how, uh, how's the results of the NFP? Uh, but if the NFP, NF, NF, NFP is good, I think that the gold will go down. All right, because right now the gold is actually testing this uh, this level, right? This neckline for this level, we can see the price goes in, we cannot go, cannot break through, and it <clears throat> comes back again, comes back to this neckline first. All right, and now it's have another kind of rally, uh, and then we need to see whether this rally can break or not. If cannot, we can just can still short gold, right? So I'm thinking of the gold, um, just last time when, we, uh, when I had this, my uh, analysis that uh, the gold have this uh, triangle, right? Triangle, okay, and it breaks up, goes to the 618%, now it goes to the 88.6%. Uh, there is a there is a bad pattern, okay, but the B point is not very good, okay? The B point is not so good, but uh, um, Still, we can we can see the one three six seven point seventy one, which may be a very good place to short gold as well. Okay, check the RSI. Okay, the RSI is now uh, in four hours. It's not overbought yet. Uh, maybe maybe when the RSI comes to the overbought zone, we can we can short. Okay, for the gold. Okay, so for the euro, a euro dollar we just shot uh, at one point one two three zero, which I published in Trading View. Okay, for this six one eight percent retracement, and for this uh, RSI, you know the RSI kind of uh, you know like uh, have a divergence, divergence, right? And uh, yeah, it's a the divergence of the RSI. Okay, we shot here, and now we already earn almost yeah, that's all one hundred pips. Okay, and test this level so you can take profit. This is a very good structure for you to take profit. So close half position of your euro. Okay, wait for the pullback. If I'm gonna short again, okay, and uh, the, <coughs> I'm expecting the <coughs> the euro to be still continue to fall to 1.09. Okay, because daily chart we see this uh, this map of the whole daily chart, right? The euro have already finished this this move. Okay, and now the it is very strong, right? Lower lows and lower highs. And lower highs, okay. Okay, so the next move is maybe another, you know, sort of a. We go to, uh, we test the 1.09 first, and if it can break the 1.09, we go to 1.06, okay. okay. For the GBP, okay, for the GBP, we just have a nice shot yesterday, uh, which we shot at based on this, uh, you know, based on this uh, double top plus uh, 6182 to this 2618 trade, right? You shot at the 1.3336 and uh, stop loss above 1.3374. Okay, so it's around 30 pips uh, loss or 40 pips risk. But uh, the GBP are, have a very nice job, a big job of the, uh, for the uh, cut weight. Okay, so we have a 200 pips profit already. So we can take profit here. We can take half first, okay, and wait, wait for pullback, maybe the pullback to here, to 1.3170. This level, I'm going to short the GBP again if it comes back to this this level, okay? okay because previously this one is a support, 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 and now it breaks down, retest again, okay, and if it retest come, come back to 1.3170, we are going to short it again, okay? Uh, guys, please uh, leave any message here. We can chat, all right? We can chat here. Okay, Ken. If you have any any question or any pairs you want to ask, please ask ask here. Okay, because I have. Uh, I think I'm going to make this video uh, for around 20 minutes. Okay, GBP Aussie. Okay, GBP Aussie. Okay. Um, 
Okay, let's go to the daily chart first. Okay, daily chart we have a very bearish trend, and we have a, the last time when the after the break exit, the the GBP makes a, the first low at this 1.70. Okay, and now it's trying to come to test this level again. So you can try to buy here. You can try to buy here, but uh, you need to have a very tight stop loss. Okay, and make sure you really get out when the price break through. Okay, and go to the four hour chart. We may have. Uh, you know, when we have a bad pattern, right? And I saw you, yeah, I saw you put uh, this bad pattern. This bad pattern, um, well, is uh, like uh, 1.71289, that is a potential entry level, okay? However, considering the GBP may still goes down, okay, the only way that the GBP Aussie can go up is the Aussie will force more, okay? It will drop more than sterling, okay? So I'm thinking about that uh, you don't trade this cross pair, but you can trade Aussie US dollar, you short Aussie, okay, but you don't long GBP because long GBP is dangerous or it's not, it's quite risky. We are not yet to long GBP first, uh, yet, okay, because the sterling may goes to test this level like 1.30 first and I think the best level we should look at it should be around 1.29 something. It may test this level, okay? Although today looks like it's like goes up, but uh, I mean this huge, this huge bearish candle actually breaks, breaks the trend line for the GBP, okay? So for any retest, it will still fall, okay? Get it, Ken? Okay? Because if you buy the GBP Aussie, you are buying, buying sterling and you are short Aussie. Your short Aussie may, may, uh, will make money, okay? But you are buying GBP may lose money, okay? But if the Aussie keeps, I mean, uh, force force more than the sterling does, uh, your 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 long GB Aussie may still earn money, but you are hedged against yourself. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the dollar yen. Okay, the dollar yen is uh, some pair I'm uh, I'm paying attention to recently, and I have we have already done uh, several. I mean, yet just one trade yesterday. We have this ABCD move and we buy at the 100.90, okay? And the price hits the 101.66, which we earn uh, seven, uh, 70 pips, right? That's a good profit and we take profit at this structure, right? Yeah, so it's always important to take the profit at the structure, okay? You don't uh, hope that the, the, the price can be, I mean, just uh, like a rocket to, to, to ready to the second target. When you hit the first target, you need to take profit. Okay, and now we can see the dollar yen still resting very well at 101.05, which is a 618% level. Okay, so for this NFP, for tonight's NFP, I mean, we just watch, or you can actually consider to buy the dollar yen first. You can enter a small position here, okay? This is to test the water, okay? And your stop loss is below 100.67, maybe we put it as a 100.55, okay? Stop loss is here, okay, but you enter very, 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 very small lot size, maybe 0 0.1 lot, okay, so that maximum loss will be kept as a $50, okay, 0 0.1 lot or, or 0 0.2 dot, uh, two lots, okay, you don't enter too much, all right, maybe, uh, and if the F NFP comes and dollar yen starts to rally and breaks this 101.665, and after pullback, after pullback, you can, you can buy more. Okay, we use this to structure play to buy more. Okay, if the, the dollar yen can break 101.67. Okay, if cannot break, we, we just take profit. Just take quick profit and uh, you're ready to, to go for the next trade. Okay. And what else? <coughs> Excuse me. What else? Wendelin, do you have anything to ask? Wesley, Shane, Jackie, what pairs you want to ask? Okay, Kiwi. Okay, yeah, Shane, I know you are from New Zealand, so you know you, you are watching Kiwi, right? <laughs> okay, the Kiwi right now uh, for the one hour is still, uh, I mean, it's kind of in the, in the uptrend because we have a low, a higher lows and higher highs, okay? So where can the Kiwi go? Okay, I'm thinking about uh, this uh, Libra pattern. Okay, so pay attention to this Libra pattern. Okay, so when the Kiwi rallies back to this level, which is uh, 0 0.7225, okay, it may have a chance to sell. 
and we pull back. We, we pull this uh, 618 percent. Okay, so watch this is 0 0.7212 and 0 0.7225. Okay, watch this zone. Okay, for the price action, you want to sell sell Kiwi. Okay, and you can draw uh, you can draw this uh, Fibonacci extension tools as well so from here to this swing high back again. Look at okay, this 1.272 it stays at 0.7217. Okay, so this is also another indicative, indicative price level you may be look at. Okay, so when the Kiwi pulls back to this level, okay, higher chance we can short here and the stop loss above the high, and we are aiming for this, uh, you know, for this uh, downward move. First target will be the previous low, second target will be the next previous low, which is 0 0.6960 something. Okay, and then maybe there is a completion of this uh, bad pattern, big bad pattern here, right? If the C point is valid, okay, you can use this bad pattern to, to take profit as well. Okay, clear? Should I close some position before FE? Yes, you should. Yeah, you should. Uh, you, can, you can avoid to trade these uh, risky events, okay, by, uh, I just leave very, very minimum position, okay, you have, okay? Don't put all your money in. That is gamble, okay, that's gamble. What is my prediction? I mean, you can look at the, look at the economic calendar, right? The prediction, the 180,000, 180, which is not bad, which is not bad. So most likely the NFP will be a good, will be a bullish for the dollar. Okay, what we have, let's look at uh, the S&P. Okay, S&P, we have a nice shot last time. We shot at this 2.175, which is actually here. We use this zone, okay. When the price comes back, tells me that this is a, this is a false breakout and we test this level we shot okay we test once we test twice and we shot the one two one seventy five and we earn maybe almost you know like three hundred pips or thirty dollar right right now the s p i think it is going to become a correction this is a kind of a correction okay it's just like a correction. So after this correction, uh, most likely will be a trend continuation. So the down, the downward. This is the first, first downward move. Second, maybe another one. Okay. So we can short somewhere here. Okay. Look at this pin bar. Look at this, this level two one sixty nine. That is a good place to place a short. Or you can use the previous structure, which is two one seventy one. You draw the Fibonacci extension. Uh, sorry, Fibonacci uh, retracement. You find this. Yeah. The, the 618 percent we said 2169 as well okay so pay attention to this zone and you want to go for a shot for the SP if it does does not break this zone okay you are 30 Dow Jones right typically I don't trade Dow Jones because that is only 30 30 shares of the you know 30 companies in the in the US markets so I mean it's like the Dow Jones is just like a kid Okay, the S&P 500 is like the mother. Okay, so most likely they will move the same way. Okay, for the Dow Jones, you can see that, I mean, this, this is like, uh, you know, a bull trap, a bull trap, right? Uh, people, people now who bought at this 1A600 is already trapped, okay? And when the price goes down, it makes uh, the first top. So what I'm thinking, you need to pay attention to this level, like 18462. Uh, it's already been tested once, but today we have a small rally here. Uh, just wait for the pullback. Maybe we can short again. And always remember to use this Fibonacci 618%, or 846, yeah? And to short. But you don't short the uh, uh, the Dow Jones and the S&P 100 together because they move the same direction. Okay, yeah, readily. Go to work first. Enjoy the video later. I'm going to upload to the, to the YouTube, all right? Okay, I think we have done uh, many, many things, right? Look at the, okay, lastly, let's look at the gas. Okay, the gas is now holding very nicely at the, the daily 618%, which is 2.851. Okay, so if this level is going, still going to be hold this uh, gas, I'm thinking that we can short at this 618% uh, and the first target, second target. Okay, and of course, Chances said that we have another, you know, kind of a bad pattern is also considerable. So you need to really look at the price action. 
when the when the price test this level. Okay, maybe the 2.95 is a good place to shot. Okay. Okay, Ken. Yeah, that's all for today. I'm going to upload the video to the YouTube right now, and uh, you guys can watch it later. All right. Thank you very much. Bye bye. End of the meeting. End of this uh, podcast. <laughs> okay. See you. Yeah, and do 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 tell the other students about my my videos. All right. Let them to watch the video before they have to come. So to get get prepared, get no pay attention to those <coughs> critical critical price level. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.